August favorites, so if you are interested, keep on watching. So I'm going to start off with the makeup portion, because I have like a makeup portion and then like the brushes that I constantly use. So I'm going to start off with this lipstick, and it's from Maybelline, Wet Shine Diamonds, in um, 200 uh, Nude Glow. And this is really this gorgeous pink color, and I'm absolutely, I've been like reaching for this like constantly. And I'll just do like a swatch. And, like, it comes out pink, but, like, it's really weird that. Hopefully you can see that. And I pair that with my, um, LA Colors Moisturizing Lip Gloss in, um, Happiness. The name's not on it, but I, um, remember it. It's just the sponge, and I always, like, grab for this one. And this is a sheer neutral color, well, peachy apricot color, I guess you could call it. And it just looks like that. And I'll put it over the lipstick to show you, like, how gorgeous this is. And here's the lipstick with the lip gloss over it. How gorgeous is that? So, I've been grabbing for these two for the lip products and then I've been using this gold creamed eyeshadow as a base like a lot like I use this more with like neutral tones and gold tones like that's what I normally do on like an everyday basis basically unless I'm doing a video but yeah and then I also use this as a base too it's just uh, the Avon oh, and I'll do a swatch of it's just a cream eyeshadow, too. And, yeah. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but it's right there. It's just a nice shimmery gold color. Just like that. Hopefully you can see. I have a lot of favorites this month, so, yeah. And this is also, like, the first favorites video I'm doing. So, yeah. Okay. But yeah, this is, um, Cream to Powder Eyeshadow, and it's from Avon, and it's in Dreamy, and it just looks like this. I'll do you, I'll do this swatch. This is a really gorgeous, like, pink color, pink, pinkish brownish color, with some sparkle, like a little bit of shimmer, you know? Because I like my thing, I like everything shimmery. That's what it looks like. And it's called Dreamy. And it looks more brownish. I don't know. Like it turns pink on um the skin, but like to wipe it off it turn it like turns a brownish color. I don't know. And that's for eyes and then for liner you get like rubbed off you can't really see it's um the LA Colors auto liner in black and it just looks like that and it just um whatchamacallit uh, twists and it's just a really nice it glides on really nice But I've been grabbing for this for, um, my waterline. And this is also my other favorite, and it's the LA Girl Eyeliner in, um, black. Because that's all I have right now. I want to get more. And that's the LA Girl, and that's the LA Color. And then, um, this is my absolute favorite, and... I have to get more. I mean, I got the lengthening mascara in, um, from the NYC, but I always grab for this one. And it's just a really nice And it's just in jet black. I don't have to do a swatch because we all know what mascara looks like. And I've been using these two 
these two um, shadows a lot. It's just this is just a really nice shimmery, champagne-y color, and this is it's called Ginger, and it's from a Spice Islands quad from CoverGirl. And this nice brown color, like that. So, this is ginger and this is nutmeg. And they go good together because the, sh the shimmery color can be used as the um, eyelid color. And then you use the nutmeg as the um, crease color. And then you can also use the, sh the sham um nutmeg as a highlight. So these two, I have been reaching for a lot. For cheeks, I have been, this has been like my holy grail blush. I know it's like matte and it might come off like a little chalky, but I, it gives, to me it gives good color. And it's um, the NYC Cheek Glow in Riverside Rose. Hopefully you can see that. And that's what it look, looks like. And like the pigment on your cheeks is phenomenal. And that's what it looks like. And I've been just reaching for that like all the time. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the brushes. Um this one is just a eye contour brush. But I use it for the lid, like the, to put the color all over the lid. And sometimes you just put it in the inner corners. And it's just really soft after four or five washes since I've had it. I've had it for like a couple, I have I have, well not three or four washes, but you know. After like so many washes, like it's still soft and it's pretty dense, you know. And it's just my favorite brush and I've been, I've just been reaching for this. So. Sorry, I was just checking my time. And then these next five brushes are from the 13 piece um, brush roll from Crystal Sense. This one like you can use this for eyeliner or I, I use it mostly to put color under my lash line just so it's more precise. And this is what it looks like. Again, it's stained and And I use this one. This one is just, um, I guess you can consider it a pencil brush. Just like that. And it's pretty dense too. Um, but yeah, it's more like a pencil brush. And sometimes I put it, I use it for on the inner corners. And just to blend the eyeshadows there. So that one's one of my numbers. My favorite. And please excuse this one. It's stained because I use wet like shader brush. And it's not so much dense, but it's really soft, even after all the washes. So that's another brush that I like go for. And this is a small shader brush, I'm guessing. Oh, and I just use this for like the crease area too. Or if I want to just pack on color. This one is a small shader brush, and I just use it for the inner corners to put eyeshadow on. And this is my favorite, favorite, favorite blush brush. And it just looks like that, and it's small, and it's so soft, and it just, it's like the same size as my apples, so it like really goes on smooth. So these are all my brushes that I like. I'm absolutely loving this one, and all my makeup, and also my eighty.